Honolulu police are investigating after an officer accidentally fired her gun at the department's training academy in Waipahu. The officer had just completed the annual firearms qualification when she went into a hallway to clean her gun on Monday. The gun went off and a bullet hit a table on the range uh, where other officers were sitting. Luckily, no one was hurt. A man is recovering after he was seriously hurt in a crash last night on the H1. This happened around 9 o'clock near the Pearl City on-ramp. Police tell us the 61-year-old was driving westbound when he swerved to avoid colliding with another car. He then hit a concrete barrier. The other car did not stop and has not been identified. An investigation continues. A woman in her 50s is hospitalized after a two-vehicle crash in Moanaloa. This happened around 5.20 Tuesday evening on Ala Aolani Street. The woman is reportedly in serious condition. Rising anxiety in leeward Oahu as gun violence leaves some families feeling helpless. Hundreds of people joined together last night to share their pain and ask for help. This candlelight prayer meeting at Waianae Intermediate School gave people a chance to connect after a series of shootings. That included the deadly rampage in Waianae Valley over the Labor Day weekend. The theme for the vigil was restoring love, hope, and healing to our land. It's horrible, you know, to, to see all the killings and the shootings and everybody out there that wants to hurt each other. I mean, where's the love? Stop. This needs to stop. Lift up your hands in prayers. Pray for each other. Love each other. Everything just got to stop. Like, all the violence and stuff, it just got to stop. Like, right now, I know Wainai is a good community, God's community, and just it just has to stop. You got to show love and be there for one another because at the end of the day, it's all of us against the world. Southern California is dealing with three major brush fires this morning. One of them, the so-called airport fire, exploded to 22,000 acres since Monday and is 0% contained, forcing thousands of people to evacuate. Cal Fire reports that some structures have burned. And then look at these. This, these fires have caused an eerie orange glow in areas of California. This is in the city of Oro Grande, where a pair of large wildfires burns nearby. Residents are reporting children coughing. Residents' eyes are burning. Southern California is currently grappling with a late summer heat wave with multiple wildfires raging across that region. Waking up to temperatures anywhere from 74 to 79 degrees. That's a springboard to warm temperatures in the afternoon. Pop-up showers today, but trade winds making a return. Looking like a beautiful weekend ahead. This See It Now digital news brief is sponsored by Long's Drugs. Bringing our heart to every moment of your health.